WizKids, the exciting game show where knowledge is power and young minds shine. I'm your host, Ramon Luti, and with me are some of the brightest and sharpest students from across Guyana who are here to test their knowledge in the four core subject areas, namely English, Science, Social Studies, and Mathematics. But remember, they're not just testing their knowledge, they're also here to test their speed. Let's go ahead and meet our contestants before we get started with this competition. Contestant number one, go ahead and tell us your name, age, and school, please. My name is Nisa Lewis. I am 11 years old and I attend St. John the Baptist Primary School. Awesome. Welcome. Contestant number two. My name is Nathan Dutt. I am 11 years old and I attend the LeVon and Tankin Primary School. Awesome. Contestant number three. My name is Alejandro Rodriguez. I am 10 years old and I attend Grove Primary School. Awesome. All right. So before we get into the competition, contestants, we're going to go through the rules of the competition. You were given a copy of that before. Did you manage to run through them? Yes, miss. Yes. All right, so I'm just going to repeat it again once more. If you have a question, kindly let me know, all right? So there are four categories of questions. That is mathematics, science, English, and social studies. The host, which is me, will select the first category and read the first question. Contestants, that is you, will compete for the opportunity to answer the questions by hitting your assigned buzzer. That is the white wrong thing in front of you, all right? Once the question is read to completion, the contestants can then hit their buzzer. The first contestant to hit their buzzer will be identified by the buzzer system, and the host will then call on that contestant to answer the question. This is the buzzer system. So once I'm finished reading the question, I'll turn it on, and then the, pers the first person to press their buzzer after the fact will be given the chance to answer the question, all right? If a contestant answers the question correctly, they will be awarded five points and be allowed to select the category for the next question. You'll also be given 10 seconds to answer the respective question after you've pressed on your buzzer. All right? If a contestant fails to answer a question correctly, the host will share the correct answer and then I'll select another question from possibly another category or the same category. Once a total of 40 questions has been exhausted, the contestant with the most points is declared the winner and will proceed to the next round of competition. If any contestants have the same number of points or there is a tie, those contestants will then advance to a bonus round. Okay? The bonus round will contain five questions from any of the four categories following the same rules and formats as mentioned. Okay? Everyone understand? Yes, miss. Yes. Any questions? No, miss. Let's no. get into it? Yes, miss. All right. All right, so we're going to get straight into the competition. We're starting with English, please. What is the most suitable meaning of the proverb? Make hay while the sun shines. Contestant number one. Use the opportunity that you have been given. Pardon me? Use the opportunity that you have been given. That is correct. Grasp the opportunity as it arrives. All right, go ahead and select your next category, please. Mathematics. Arrange the following fractions in descending order. Two fifths, five sixths, three fourths, and one quarter. Contestant number two. Descending order, so. Five six, three quarters, five sixths, two fifths, and one quarter. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct answer would be five sixths, three quarters, two-fifths and one-quarter, all right? Let's proceed to science, please. What is the name of the part of the seed which protects it from injury and drying out? Test Contestant up. number one. The seed coat. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. Choose the function of the underlined word in the sentence. The cherry on the tree is ripe. On. Contestant number two. Adverb? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct answer would be a preposition. All right, guys, remember, I need to finish reading the question before you attempt to press on your buzzer. If you press on your buzzer before the question is completely read, it will not register, okay? Let's go. Let's try social studies, please. 
What individuals constitute a nuclear family? Contestant number two. Parents, children, and children. <laughs> that is correct. I'm assuming you meant parents, child, or children. Yes. That is correct. Go ahead and select the next category, please. Mathematics. A boat left Parika at 11 a.m. and arrived at Bartika at 3.25 p.m. During that time, it stopped for 25 minutes to fix an engine problem. What was the actual sailing time? Contestant number one. Four hours. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. Choose the best verb for the subject. The children something grown. Contestant number one. Are. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Same English. Choose the function of the underlined word in the sentence. The flowers fall when the wind blows. Flowers. Contestant number two. Noun. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science. Which essential gas is provided by plants? Contestant number one. Oxygen. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Mathematics. The highest common factor of 16 and 32 is? Contestant number two. Eight. Eight. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. We're asking for the highest common factor. The correct answer would be 16. Let's go to social studies, please. Identify three CARICOM states that are not islands. Contestant number two. Guyana, Suriname, and Belize. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science. Day and night are caused because of the something. Contestant number two. Rotation of the Earth. Its axis. That is correct. Go ahead and select the next category, please. I would like to stay in science. What is the largest human organ? Contestant number one. The skin. That is correct. Go ahead and select the next category, please. English. Correct the following sentence. The two of them is twins. Contestant number one. The two of them are twins. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category. English. Give a synonym for the underlined word in the sentence. John was surprised when he won the lottery. Surprised. Contestant number two. Astonished. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. Who are the three prominent leaders who sought independence for Guyana? Contestant number three. Chetty Jagan, Forbes Barnum, and Peter Digar. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Mathematics. What is 340 written in Roman numerals? Contestant number one. CXB? I'm sorry, the correct response would have been CCCXL. Science, please. The planet with the most moons is. Contestant number three? Jupiter. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct response would be Saturn. It changes every other year. Right now, Saturn has the most moons with 146 moons. All right? Let's proceed to social studies, please. What country is often referred to as the giant of South America? Contestant number three. Brazil. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category. English. English. Choose a word that is most similar in meaning to the underlined word. The new boy is very polite to all those who bully him. Polite. Contestant number one. Kind. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. Choose the correct function of the words underlined in the sentence. Mother cooked the dinner so that we could all be well fed. Contestant number two. Adverb. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. In this context, it would be an adjective. Science, please. High and low tides are caused by something. Contestant number one. The moon. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. 
give a synonym for the underlined word in the sentence. The guest speaker advised the members of the team to strive for unity. Unity. Contestant number one. Peace. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. The last question for the English segment. Choose the best verb for the subject. The onion something really bad and may ruin my breath. Contestant number one. This. That is correct. We have exhausted English. You have science, social studies, and mathematics available. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Mathematics. The smallest number that can be divided by three, six, and nine, leaving a remainder of zero is something. Contestant number two. Three. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct response would be 18. That is the smallest number that can be divided by three, six, and nine. All right? Let's go to social studies, please. The phrase, June too soon, July standby, August look out, it must, September remember, October all over, is associated with which natural disaster? Contestant number one. Hurricane. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Mathematics. Carlos arrived at his school sports at 9.30 hours and spent 2 hours 50 minutes. At what time did he leave? Contestant number two. Eleven twenty. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct response would be twelve twenty. All right. Let's proceed to social studies, please. Which company helped in the development of our plywood industry? All right, time's up and no one attempted to answer that question. The correct response would have been Barama. All right. Contestant number two, you seemed like you knew it, but you didn't know whether to say it or not. Yes. Yes. All right. Let's proceed to mathematics, please. Seven fifths represents what type of fraction? Contestant number one. An improper fraction. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Mathematics. How many whole numbers are there between 124 and 135? Go ahead, contestant number two. 11. I'm sorry, that's really close, but they asked for between. The correct response would have been 10. All right, that is excluding 124 and 135. Let's proceed to social studies, please. Why was value-added tax imposed on specific food items? All right, time's up. No one attempted to answer that question. The correct response would have been to increase revenue collection. Let's proceed to science, please. When the illuminated portion of the moon is larger than the darker portion, the moon is said to be something. Contestant number two. Waxing. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. The correct response would have been gibbous. All right, let's proceed to mathematics, please. What is the lowest common multiple of six and 12? Contestant number three. 12. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. Name a drug that is most harmful to the body. Contestant number one. Marijuana. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Mathematics. This is the last math question. The space where two intersecting lines meet is usually measured in something. Contestant number one. Degrees. That is correct. We've exhausted English and mathematics so far. We have science and social studies available. Go ahead and select your next category. Science. Muhammad quickly withdrew his hand when it came into contact with a hot pot. Which body system caused this reaction? Contestant number one. The nervous system. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science. 
Why do we see the moon at night? That's number three. Because the sunlight from the sun is reflected onto the moon. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. Jamie plans to visit his grandparents in Guyana for the August 1 celebrations. What activity will Jamie enjoy? Contestant number three. Masquerade dancing. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science. The last science question. The skin has something layers. Contestant number two. Three layers. That is correct. Those are the epidermis, dermis, and hypodermis. All right. So the last question for this episode of Whiskits, social studies, please. Provide an example of one human resource. Contestant number three. All right. Do you have a response? Yes. Go ahead. Artificial satellites? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. A human resource could have been a teacher, a carpenter, a plumber, anyone employed, essentially, with an organization. All right? All right, so we have reached the end of the competition. And so far, based on the scoreboard, we have contestant number one in the lead with 80 points. We have second place being Nathan and third place, Aleandra. Thank you guys so much for participating. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Ghana Learning Channel's Wiz Kids Show. Join us next time for even more excitement, challenges, and friendly competition. I'm your host, Ramona Luti, saying goodbye and see you then. I was nervous first. Yeah. And um, I was impressed, like, some of the things that I couldn't really think of so, so fast, they already had the answer in the head. <laughs>